Hi guys, this is Greg Fox. I want to show you some infiltrator gameplay and some of my tactics when I'm making a push. I apologize if my voice sounds a little off. I'm still getting over a cold here. In all of this footage, I'm using the NS7 PDW with a 2 times reflex sight, advanced laser sight, and suppressor and soft point ammo. I just want to point out a few things first. Uh, the PDW is a pretty versatile weapon. Uh, you can use it hip fire, aim down sights pretty effectively, and it, it's honestly a lot more like a carbine than an SMG. And in this footage, I am using it almost entirely aim down sights. Like, like with a lot of other close quarter weapons, I tend to hip fire when I'm being attacked and aim down sights when I'm attacking. Honestly, the Artemis would have suited me a lot better here, or the Nyx or even the ghost if I was good at sniping. But like I said, the PDW is pretty workable. The most important factor here is actually the suppressor. And uh, I'm going to be using the noisy environment in these big fights to hide the noise I make too. The fact that I'm using an NS weapon is actually a really big advantage. So right here, I'm trying to sneak up on the Sunder. And, uh, this is basically the same thing that I do when I'm light assault, except uh, in this situation I can cloak as well, which is an additional bonus. And I'm not really accomplishing anything for my teammates here except uh, farming a few easy kills, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but I, I do get discovered pretty quickly here. And I really should have shot a radar dart on the Sunday. That would have helped things a lot, but I... I'll forget those things. So in this clip I spawn in at Snake Ravine and I'm trying to push to the northeast because I see there's stuff on the mini map over there. And uh, this space is interesting because there's this really tight close quarters environment inside it and then outside there's this big open area uh, with some sparse cover and I really like that. And uh, I do like to fight outside the space, especially as Infiltrator. Now when you're dealing with vehicles, uh, you really want to use your cloak as much as possible. A lot of these guys use thermal and they can't see you at all when you're cloaked. Uh, right here, um, I put my head down just in case the top of it is peeking out because I, I worry about it getting sniped in situations like that. And uh, making my way to the trees. and. Um, I see a guy on the mini-map, I shoot a dart uh, just to cover my teammates and myself and I take the risk of going after him. Uh, I do kill him but I do take a little bit of damage and people know where I am so that does worry me a little bit but uh, I don't think I'm in that much danger. So I push my way up from cover to cover. I'm heading towards the ammo tower because that's a good staging point. And I see a guy over here, but I don't really want to go follow him because uh, I try not to get distracted. I can uh, be distracted pretty easily and uh, try to avoid it because it usually gets me killed. I'm using my mini-map a lot here and it's kind of worrying because there's people on all sides of me. And I'm trying to only shoot at people that I think I can confidently kill. A civil trader shows up but he's not really much of an issue to deal with. I just get, get away from that grenade and work my way around, kill this guy, uh, gotta take out that beacon. But there's just so much fire on this tree and usually when I take out beacons, I'll end up dying. So I figure I'll let my allies worry about it. I take more damage and slap a med kit, hide behind the ammo tower, which was my staging point and at these staging points uh, I'll basically decide where I'll go to next. There were two ways I could have gone towards the bridge or towards these rocks and the rocks were closer and there was some cover in the form of an exploded mag rider and this is exactly the situation I wanted to find myself in. There's a lot of enemy infantry on the other side of this rock and I wasn't really thinking here and I almost died. But in situations like this where you have two forces attacking each other with some cover in between, you'll find that both of them will sort of huddle up on either side of it and they'll be too afraid to advance. So what I like to do is stick my head out and shoot at them. 
Now I'm running advanced shield capacitor to get in and out of battle as quickly as possible. But right here I really wish I had ammunition belt because there was just so many guys and it looked like I was going to farm them all day. But Anthor decided to ruin my fun. In this last clip, I want to show you a situation that could have ended very badly, uh, turning out a little better than expected. Coming up on a pad, you're always in for a surprise, and yeah, gotta love that cloak, right? Especially at night. Find yourself a cozy little spot on the flank, be careful not to fall off, and uh, get some kills. I want to be really careful to watch my back here. And notice how I don't shoot at this guy right away, but I wait for him to get a little closer. Right there you can see just how slow the bullet velocity is with the suppressor and the soft point ammo. I don't know, it's just so satisfying when you get the leading down. Call me crazy if you want. Now I'm just finishing off these people from the side, and again, I'm trying to go for the kill every single time, going for heads. And there's this big vanity push coming up from the elevator, so they're pretty distracted. That's basically the infiltrator in a nutshell, just picking off enemies from the flank when they're distracted by your allies. At least that's one way to play it. There's actually a lot of things that you can do this class. It's still one of my least played classes, but honestly it's one of the most fun. It's just the fact that most of the weapons are so specialized, and if you don't snipe, then all you're going to be doing is using SMGs and scout rifles, and it does get a little old. It's a class that I'll usually pull out in certain situations, and especially the ones like you saw in this video, especially when I'm making a push uh, and there's a really large battle and I could use the stealth abilities to their fullest advantage. So I hope that was helpful. I'll try to do more of these in the future, uh, maybe for every class. So hit like if you like, subscribe if you want more, and I'll see you again next time.